Alright man, I know. Blog. Okay, we carry away. Welcome to blog A. Let's go man. Okay, we're back. Look a bit shabby at the minute, but that's because I've been setting up all week. Again, hardly any sleep. As you can see, the room is finished and it looks quite small considering everything's just been put in here and still quite a bit more to come. I haven't been rushing or anything like that. I've been setting up everything to my liking. I'm just going to take you around the room with this blog. Now what we're going to do on the corner here, we've got the Amiga, the Commodore 64, I've put an Atari, I've got a Master System, and it's going to be a NES. It's in the other room. That's what's going to belong on this TV. This CRT, it's a 98cm um, CRT. Um, and it, it's it's a Ripper TV that um, just needs a bit of tuning, and um, or fine tuning I should say. Weighs 133 kilos. It took four of us to lift it onto this stand. But um, yeah, it's really good. You know, you got the big, big screen, uh, old school. I've got my Amiga and my Commodore 64 stuff on that shelf, and there's some Atari stuff. There's more shelving coming next week. Um, actually, most of the shelving in the room's coming next week. So that's that there. Over here, this is where the action's happening. Now, this TV here, it's a blank book, which is a German TV. Same with the Grundy. They're both German. This TV I've had since new, and that was about in 1994 or 1995. This TV is one of the best TVs on the market. It's really, really good for video games. Um, I don't know if anyone knows out there, but it's via a SCART input, which is RGB, red, green, and blue, rather than a normal composite cable or even S video. This is the highest picture that outputs of majority of consoles, such as Mega Drive and Super Nintendo, Famicom. Uh, Neo, um, Saturn, Dreamcast, they usually all have RGB. All the consoles here are my favourite consoles. Doesn't mean this is all I've got. It means these are my favourites, this is what I play. And yeah, why not? The Jaguar was there. Come on. <laughs> it's a pretty good console. At least it's got Aliens vs Predator and, um, uh, what's that one? Temp Tempest 2000. So yeah, that's that. And this TV actually, I'll show you something. Just say you're over there and um, instead of turning the whole TV around, what you can do, it's got a little motor that turns it left or right. It's quite a, quite a neat little TV. It's a really, really good one. And as you can see, it's very, very sharp. So, yeah, extremely sharp picture. Can't beat CRT. This one over here, in this corner, Oh, by the way, I've got all the Sega stuff above that TV. I didn't know where to put... See, Sega hasn't got its own place. It's a little bit Nintendo-orientated, this room. Not... It did just how it worked out. Um, so I had to put up a lot of Sega stuff there. It's a Lerva TV. It's a widescreen. I haven't connected that yet, but... Just the widescreen consoles that go on it. The low-def stuff. Or the standard dev, I should say. The Xbox, PlayStation 2 and the GameCube. I've got a PlayStation 2 there as well because the majority of the games are 4x3 but the ones are 16 by 9 go in there. Now over here, as I said, uh, I think it was last week, the Sharp 52 LED um, and that is obviously for the Xbox 360 and the PS3 and also the Wii even though it's not high def still use it on these TVs. There's no problem there. That's it. Got the Bose surround sound set up, it sounds awesome. Um, yeah, can't ask for more. And up there, my Halo collectibles and some Modern Warfare 2 stuff. I've got so much collectible stuff, but where do you put it all? This is the this is the problem. But this room is supposed to be an intimate room with all the stuff I love. That's So that, that, that goes up on that shelf. 360 stuff, stuff I haven't unpacked yet, but majority is going to be 360. And PlayStation 3 and a bit of Wii. I'm going to have to shuffle them around to get the right combination. PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube's going to go all there. I've started to put them up there. 
Um, before I tell you about the top stuff, N64 is going to be basically these aisles. So, Jap stuff and, um, and US stuff. Um, I haven't got my Jap stuff. Oh, yeah, I have got the Jap stuff. So, yeah, the Jap stuff. Actually, that's, um, yeah. Yep. Say, Sega Saturn. Uh, Dreamcast. Now, up there... There's going to be shelves that go roughly five meters long. There's going to be about six of them, starting from the just underneath the ceiling. I'm going to have NES, Master System, PC Engine, Neo CD, Neo Carts, and whatever else. Just a glass cabinet with some of the collectibles in it. That's a uh, um, if you just come around. So when I used to, I used to actually own a shop. And um, this is the import games, and there's uh, 10 uh, Yoshi cookie cartridges for the Super Famicom that have never been broken out of that pack. So that's a wholesale pack, that's how they come in Japan. And just some collectibles, some Steve, I didn't you know. As, as I'm um, still shuffling things around, Super Famicom Library, I have to do something about that because I've got a lot more to go on there. Mega Drive Library, same thing with that for Mega Drive games. It's probably my favourite system, I reckon, if I had to pick one, but. I say that this week and then next week it'll be Nintendo 64 and the week after it'll be Commodore 64 and etc. Um, just got some N64 stuff up here just to fill up the void. And the, of course the magical three screen. And this is just amazing. Um, I've just got a chair here at the moment until I've, I'm going to, as I said, build a rig with a racing seat. Got a full surround sound. Just, you can't obviously hear the bass but got a massive subwoofer behind the screen and you feel like the car you're in the car it's awesome so yeah a few ps3s and um just some game boy stuff uh, all the different colors and i like collecting all that kind of jazz and i've uh, got some xboxes here now these three obviously going to go on the the um three screener i've just got a couple of X ones that are going to go into the room behind you. So we're going to do something in that room next to. But this is it. The room is complete and finished. It's very, very quiet in here. The lighting, we chose light so when I'm doing reviews, um, we don't need special lights all the time. And that's it. Um, a lot of memories were coming back when I was setting up everything and just so many reviews I want to do. Just amazing. And I'm going to target doing a review on all platforms, just like I have been doing before. That's about it. Any questions, please ask. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions. I just can't answer everyone at the moment. But um, slowly I'll be breaking away from finishing up and I'll answer all your questions. This will be the last blog for a while. I don't think I'll be doing any more blogs unless there are updates or anything like that. Uh, the next episode... Um, there'll be something special coming next week. I'm not going to say anything else at the moment. And then the week after, or probably the week after that, we'll be doing the Sega Saturn, um, a look into the Sega Saturn itself, the console, and the gems that are on the Sega Saturn. So that's it. Thank you all for watching again. Um, I'm very happy to take you on this journey of the room. The reason the room was done actually was for YouTube. We were running out of room, lighting... The ceiling wasn't, you know, high enough. The room wasn't big enough. This room's about, it ended up being 7 by 6 point something metres. Um, you know, by the time you put the bricks up and the plaster and, you know, the, the walls, it, it brought it in a quite a lot. It doesn't look big, obviously, because of all the crap in here. But, um, yeah, so that's it. But I'm happy for everyone to suggest um, any reviews you want me to do or consoles. I've got more consoles than that. You know, um, yeah, so uh, one console we'll be doing a review on is the Ultra 64 that only a few of them got released with the badge Ultra 64 on it. So think think along those lines, any kind of console. I'll see you next time and thank you again. Goodbye for now.